Well, this is an update to the VLLM project. Now, initially, VLLM was designed to support large language models for text-based autoregressive generation tasks only. And I'm an extensive user of VLLM because it is so fast, it is so congruent to my work processes, and it's so easy for different LLMs to make it work on your local system. I use it regularly on my Kaggle projects and other projects of my own. This is an update video on VLLM Omni. Now, apart from text it's able to process image video and audio data as well so you can see uh, omni modality model architecture initially we had just text in text out now we have text image audio and video so these are the different modalities for example whisper vit which is vision uh, transformers and we have the llm autoregressive llm here and then we have modality generator uh, with the use of diffusion transformers we can give out images videos and audios as output as well now vllm is pretty fast and that's why we are uh, used uh, them in our kaggle projects as well this is like one of the competition I cannot discuss more about this competition but uh, we see that we have this competition which is the AI mathematical Olympiad and if you go to the uh, code section if you look at the code that people are using you can see that VLLM is being used extensively here for example here in this part of the code you can see that we start the VLLM server here and use that LLM but you can go ahead and check um, out the different competitions that are going on and what I meant to say is that VLLM is amazing if you're not using VLLM, you should use it. And now with the improved infrastructure, with the improved modalities, for example, image, audios and video, this is again a cherry on the top. We have different options to use it. You can go ahead and uh, go to the installation section here. Choose your GPU. For example, I have NVIDIA CUDA and go here and just install it like a regular library so initially we had pip install vllm uh, the version of 0.11.0 and then we need to install vllm omni so once you have that you're going to start up a server and you can go ahead and use that it's open ai compatible once you serve uh, the vllm and you serve this uh, quen image llm for example once you serve this you can use this with the help of the open ai compatible api and you can see that we can use this like this so client we take this base url and then we put in the prompt put in the model here and then you get the output the different ways of uh, inferencing you can uh, go ahead and use it on the offline inference or you can go ahead to the online inference as well the list of supported models that are available for for nvidia gpu you can see that these are the different models that we have we have a quen 3 omni 30 billion a3 billion instruct we have these models quen image a series of tonji models we have may twin models you can try all these models uh, these are the models supported for npu as well now if your gpu is not that powerful you might need a gpu an online gpu that you can use and one of the best source that i like to advertise or show you is this which is a run pod you can go ahead to this link and go ahead and sign up now they're running an offer when you recharge for the first ten dollars you will get a bonus of five to five hundred dollars most of the people get five dollars but again there is one or two lucky fellas that will get a five hundred dollars as well so claim your bonus and then you will be able to log into runpod and use these gpus for example it has gpu starting very cheap uh, point, uh, from 0.2 dollars per hour which is a 40 gb gpu to as high as you can see h200 which is 141 or b200 which is 180 gb vram which is very costly which is like five dollars per hour but again when comparing with the cost of owning such an infrastructure it's very cheap you can go ahead and test this out test out run port use vllm in your products this is just an important update that i thought would be very good for my viewers i hope to see you in the next video thank you